Tire shit got me bugging. Uh, let's see what niggas got to say about this, man. The Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion case has finally underwent. Uh, for those who don't know, two years ago, there was a uh, interaction between Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion, or at least it was reported. The result of it was Meg Thee Stallion bleeding from her foot and walking outside of a driveway out in L.A. Originally, it was reported that she stepped on glass, but then later it was found that um, she actually got shot and... She claimed that Tory Lanez is the one who shot her. This nigga Tory shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. I tried to keep the situation off the internet, but you dragging it. Follow up from that was a very ambitious story. This also led to Tory Lanez being charged, put in jail. He post bond. He, uh, but then since then, over the past two years, we've been waiting on the case. Mm. Tory, uh, Meg has been going out saying some um, pretty interesting things on interviews, which, you know, definitely don't advise anybody to do that, especially with a high profile case like this. And here we are now and things are on Underway. Tory did too. He made an he, album about he it. Made, he made an album about it, but he was very, very exclusive with the things that he said. Very specific and very um, strategic. The problem though, and in, you know, here on Playback, the reason why we have not made a video on this yet is because the story that Meg told was a bit, you know, a bit ambitious, a bit, um, bit, a bit colorful for those who don't know what actually happened. Well, this is what Meg's side of the story is. Meg claims that they were in the car, had an argument. Not only was it Tory and Meg, but also Meg's friend Kelsey and then Tory's bodyguard. Out of nowhere, for whatever reason, Meg started just getting on Tory, you know, talking about his uh, rap career. They got into an argument. She walked out of the car. Tory Lanez went out of the window or still in the car, somehow shot three or five times at Meg Thee Stallion's foot and told her, dance, bitch, dance. Then after that happened, her friend came out of the car. Tory then got upset. He got aggressive. He then followed her out the car because her friend was trying to check on her. And Tory, approaching the two women, punched her friend, dragged her down by her hair, and told both of them to get back in the car. Then when they got back in the car, Tory then told them, don't you say a fucking thing about this and try to bribe them with millions of dollars. That's a colorful ass story if you ask me. Listen, I ain't on nobody's side. To be honest, shit, all this shit sound funny is inform new information coming out, old inf I don't know. Until niggas get prosecuted and, 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 and the judge slam that gauntlet or whatever the fuck the name of that shit is, I don't know. Unless I see a case file on my damn self, I don't know. <laughs> or the evidence, excuse me, the evidence myself, I won't know, bro. There's too many funny stories going on, bro. That's the one I heard, though. But uh, who who knows, bro? I, to be honest, I'm over it. You like this story? Yeah, that sounds like a fucking movie. <laughs> you like that story? It sounds like a plot of a bad movie. <laughs> So that's the that's the reason why we haven't made a video on this on this whole situation. It's the reason why many people are skeptical. It's the reason why we don't want to jump to any conclusions because the story that Meg is telling just doesn't make any sense. There's clearly a lot of holes in it. Tory and his camp were trying to plug in the holes. They're saying that their side of the story is that he didn't shoot her, obviously, that there was an altercation between Meg and her friend Kelsey, and that altercation led to the shooting, and there's a whole bunch of other holes that have been filled. Now, the problem though with Tory Lane's side of story is that Kelsey Harris, again, friend of Meg Thee Stallion, she, she look, was, um... She looked good right there. Hold on. Oh, she echoed me in 4K. And that altercation led to the shooting, and there's a whole bunch of other holes that have been filled. Now, the problem, though, with Tory Lane's side of the story is that Kelsey Harris, again... Man, she looked good right there. Why they got Meg looking crazy? I don't think she looked crazy. Maybe... All right, whatever. Her friend looked good. I hate them hoops, but she looked good. Not hate them, but friend of Meg Thee Stallion. She was um back in September when they had an interview with um the police. She actually um she confirmed everything that Meg said. She kind of cooperated with her story. Howard, here's where the the, the shit hits the fan, man. Week one in this uh, trial. And her friend came out the gate and straight up said, yeah. For today to refresh Harris's memory about what happened that night in the Hollywood Hills. Harris describing each part of that night in specific detail. But in court today, Harris said a lot of the things she said in September weren't true, saying, quote, I was protecting myself. Prosecutors showed a text message Harris sent to Megan the Stallion security guard the night of the alleged attack that read, quote, Tory shot Meg, 911. But today, Harris claimed she doesn't know why she said that, saying she didn't see anything happen. Harris refused to refer to anything that night as a shooting, only that she she heard gunshots when asked if she was shot by lanes she issued her fifth amendment right so, so wait wait let me let me actually, under duress let me let me take it back yeah, actually go back yeah, that's 
Wow. And this is why this is why it's very important to wait till the case come out. Even though, you know what I'm saying? If he really shot her, bro, he need to go to jail. Let's be real. Come on. Like, shooting women. Shooting niggas is already crazy enough. But shooting a woman, bro, come on. Niggas is trying to say he got a uh, Napoleon complex, which can be true, bro. But at the same time, bro, the story just sound crazy. Like, all over the place, some wild movie shit. Not to say that it can't happen, but it just, you know what I'm saying? You need to hear the facts, and this is why niggas is going to court. Because the facts are going to come out. Because they want they want to get Tory. If he shot that girl, they want to get him, bro. I'm telling you, he's from Canada. He's he's facing, what, up to 25 years. If the evidence comes back that he did that, she's cooked. It's cooked. So they want they want they want to get this thing. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But before she took the stand, she requested immunity. They gave her immunity, and as soon as she got the immunity, she was like, yeah, everything I said back then when they were, you know, talking to me, all lies. The other problem is, is that when this incident happened, they never That's wait. My thing is, right? I know you want somebody to testify on your behalf and shit and not to, you know what I'm saying? How, how was she able to get, I guess they wanted the story that bad they was able to give her immunity. I just wanted to know what happened. Cause really the only people that I really know is those four is Tori, Shorty, Megan, and a driver apparently, right? Or a bodyguard, maybe five, five, six. I'm just roughly estimating. So if, if her friend is cooperating the story then she will be a witness. So obviously we need her testimony in order to back up Megan shit. But now that she got, she asked for immunity. I feel like you should have knew right there, red flag. And that was probably left field because she was supposed to be coming out there and helping Meg for her to get immunity. Niggas probably looking like, hold on. Hold on, what's going on? What's going on here? That's crazy. The police never talked to Kelsey. The police <laughs> wow. never, um, they didn't take her into custody. Kelsey wow. actually just left the crime scene because nobody even thought that she was involved at all. So there's illegal. actually no Wait, trace of Kelsey when the crime happened and then when they actually talked to her to get her side of the story. Allegedly now she's saying that she's lying. And so now for Meg, it looks kind of look kind of fucked because everything that she's saying, there's no one who can back it up to that account in Tory's side of the story is saying that he didn't do it either. However, the other problem is that um, Kelsey's um, side of the story. She's now saying that he didn't punch me. I did not see um, him shoot the gun. And also I didn't take any bribe money from him at all. Even though she claimed that those are all things that she did do before. All of that was lies. But then also when they're asking her questions on the court case, anything that could quote unquote like incriminate her, she's saying like, oh, I don't know. I didn't know about that. I didn't see that. Or matter of fact, I just plead the Which fifth. Which is crazy she's because you got immunity now. And that's another part. This case is, this is why, this is not, it should drag out for two years just for some more, like, shorty to be on some extra more, like, some bullshit. You have immunity, shorty. You could tell, at this point, you, you could tell. You could tell it all, bro. You could tell it all, bro. It, it makes no sense to get on that stand or to be in that courtroom and not tell it all and you just ask for immunity. What was the point? Like, what the fuck? Literally pleading the fifth right now. So, so for those who don't know, Tori's side of the story is they were at Kylie Jenner's um, uh, kickback, right? They were chilling, having a good old time. Tory Lanez was trying to kick it to Kylie, Meg, and, and um, Tory Lanez. Now it's been revealed that they were in some form of a relationship. Come to find out, she got upset. They left, and so did Kelsey left with Meg. They then came back. It was claimed to retrieve a slipper. It seems like they were trying to come back and get Tory because they got into an argument. They then get into the car. Tory then reveals to Meg that, um, no, Tory reveals to Kelsey that he was dealing with Meg. That was the first time that Kelsey had known about this. There was a physical altercation that occurred. They got out the the car, another filter physical altercation occurred. There's actually a neighbor who claims that he saw the physical altercation outside that occurred. And then that's when everybody just gets amnesia because they don't know who shot what, who pulled whatever. It's it's all messed up. The other problem with this is that Kelsey, the friend, there's gunshot residue on her and um how she wasn't there. No, she was there. She was there in the car. There was gunshot residue on her, but there was also gunshot residue on Tory Lanez. However, what Meg is saying, if Tory really shot the gun in the car, then there also would have been gunshot residue on Bodyguard. And so far, it doesn't seem like there was anyone. It wasn't any gunshot residue on him. So all things are pointing to, they got into a, a physical altercation. She hopped out the car. Yo, this is interesting, right? Because I'm not, again, I'm not picking sides. Shorty Slory sounded so movie-like, it's hard to believe. You feel me? If she would've came with a more, like, 
not to say reasonable story, but a more a more digestible story from the on the first end. Then it'll be like, all right, cool. Not to say she's lying, because I don't know. The court facts are gonna come out. It looks like she's lying, but again, the shit is not over, so we don't know. Um, but initially hearing this shit now and hearing hearing Tory side of the story, it just sounds more believable. So when you hear something like something that sounds unrealistic versus something that can sound plausible, you're gonna go with the more plausible because your brain is gonna be like. All right, you know what? That sounds more likely to happen. Not to say whether or not Tori's telling the truth or Meg is, is lying or, or Meg is lying and Tori's telling... But it's just like, you're going to go with his story because that seems more likely to happen. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that niggas usually get shot over some shit like that, but kind of sort of. But I'm just saying the physical altercation part. <clears throat> I want to see what else... The, I want to know what else the neighbors saw. Like, did they just watch them have a physical altercation? And and not look for like not watch them till they shot the gun to see who shot the gun or what or was it just on some? Uh, I see people outside my house fighting. I'm go back over. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? She was about to start shooting at Meg. Tori got involved, tried to stop it, and then that's why this gunshot residue on both of them. The truth is so elusive, man. But that's that is that is gathering for what we've seen so far the first week. Yeah, it's very amazing. elusive, very very elusive, and it's kind of fucked crazy. because the reason why everything is kind of like messed up. I I personally believe that right now yeah. because how much Kelsey has been lying and how much Meg has yeah. also yeah. lied yeah. and contradicted her story. I don't even think Tori Lanez is going to be convicted of this. Like it's too many holes. There's this is too criminal many court, right? Not civil. Yeah, yeah, criminal. So they have to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah, which is difficult to do if there's no evidence to support her claim. Well, it's just a bunch and, of he said, she said yeah, at this exactly. point. Yeah, and, and so unless the not, jury it, niggas is not cooperating and niggas is saying some bullshit. Shorty's on that stand saying some absolute bullshit, bro. Like, you have immunity, bro. Talk like just tell the truth. You probably don't want to make her friend seem bad, but you already did. Once the moment you took immunity, and then. Said all that, oh, none of that happened. Bro, you already made her look bad, so you might as well just tell her all the truth. The really she's emotionally the fucks with Megan. Wait, she is, wait, 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 not to cut agent off. She is going to indeed have to pay some bread back already on top of the court fees, probably the Tory's part, uh, side, because this, this could possibly be a defamation case because she, he, he lost a lot of money. He lost a lot of uh, assets because of the niggas stopped fucking because they're like, oh, you shot, you shot a female, you shot Meg, like you fucking, she was the hottest rapper, ah, ah, ah. And niggas pick sides, so there would be a case after this if he do win, but... She's gonna need some evidence yeah. to fucking pop up. Some witness, somebody to corroborate what she's saying yeah, for this to work. More importantly than the details of this case, Marcel. Yeah. It is insane to me what people choose to care about. Like, it is... Bro, I've been recently fascinated by it. Why does this get so much attention? I, I would argue real issues don't get no, no, they as don't, much attention. No, 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 no. They could be like... They could be... There's so many real issues. I agree with you. It's, it's entertainment. Like... I agree that there should be way more emphasis on important shit, but because it's entertainment, bro. <laughs> it's like Bad Girls Club. I don't understand why people watch that shit, but they watch because it it's entertainment. It may not be, it may be relatable to some or, or a little bit relatable, but for the most part, the shit is entertainment and niggas just like bullshit. They like to consume Americans and a lot of people in the world like to consume bullshit. When that was happening at that time, mm -hmm. she's like, I, didn't, I just didn't want the police to kill us, so I just said, I decided not to say anything about a gun. When the police came, because the, the neighbors called the police, this did not happen at Kylie House, the police come, I'm scared. All this shit going on with the police. The and then wait, how far are they from Kylie House? Is this outside her shit? Don't they got cam they don't got nobody got cameras? Police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us all get out the motherfucking car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we niggas, us black people, got a gun in the car? You want me to tell the laws that, that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? Nigga, I'm scared. It's a fucking helicopter over us. It's some more shit. Well, yo, then the police pull us over, and I see, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm, we're, we're all black in the car, there's a gun in the car, so I don't even want to, I don't even want to be, like, you know what I'm saying, I don't want nobody to get in more trouble, and I'm trying to protect this man, I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot out here, she then throws the black card at me, I'm trying to protect this black man, my love, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So why are you, how are you trying to protect me? Yeah, I'm curious to see how this case goes, mainly due to the fact that I've been reserved on how I feel about what the fuck is going on until mm -hmm. I see the results. I need to see all the evidence, mm -hmm. I need to see all the witnesses, I need to see the statements, and all, all that information is gonna lead me to my conclusion. How, but, how more, do you, but how do you feel about the fact that she's doubling and tripling down? She's supposed to, she can't go back now. Yeah, she's gonna I'm talking crazy. about throughout the two years. As soon as she went on live and said all that shit, and said he shot me, I said all those posts, it was over. 
right then and there because the internet is going to hold that shit over you. Like, when you're a celebrity, you can't post and delete. Same thing with live. You say whatever you say. I could go on live right now. I'm nobody. I go on live right now. Nobody. Only people that's going to know what I said on live is the people that was in the live. Some, some weirdo if they do record it. Instagram and the cops if I say some incriminating shit. That's it. Those are the only people that's going to know. Her or him or anybody that go on live and say some incriminating shit like on that plat on that platform on that plateau where they at in their in their career and who they are, it's over with. Shit is gonna be a mi- it's gonna be a thousand at least a thousand screen recorders on YouTube, Twitter, all over the place. Such as I said this, such as I said that, that, that. And then the blogs are gonna pick it up. It's gonna go crazy, bro. So. She's supposed to. Once right. you make that original commitment, yeah. you That's now right. are going to socially nuke your appeal if people find out you're willing to lie about something like that on another black man. It's, it's going to nuke your appeal. And so, therefore, once you commit to it, you kind of have to continue committing right. to it and then right. hope that what you're saying is found to be Makes, true. Yeah, and, this, which can happen. Like, even if you're lying, it, it can be found it can, to be but true. I ain't going to lie. It's kind of it's kind of. Of course, but like it's it really just tough. depends on the fucking jury. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. But even even Meg's, like, in, in her um testimony, they were asking, like so where was Kelsey and all this she was like I just didn't see her I didn't see her right, it's good. it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of if you so I'm gonna say like this yeah it's it's messy week one has been undeniably messy the problem though is that with Meg is that I would have way more leniency on her if she didn't double and triple down the way she did days after Megan's Twitter rant our team at complex obtained legal documents that disclosed that Tori wants to speak out about his pending case Tory had asked the court to modify a protection order that prevents him from addressing the legal battle publicly. The motion argued that Megan has repeatedly used her platform and has addressed the case to share, quote, inflammatory information, while Tory hasn't been able to do the same thing. The same legal papers also claimed that the defense has new contradictory evidence about Megan's statements from the night of the shooting, along with eyewitness testimony and, quote, gunshot residue implicating others. In February, Tori's request got denied. She's been utilizing Black is- Lives Matter into her her, her um, power, um, utilizing all black women were never trying. Uh, and this is around the time when a lot of y'all didn't know that BLM was uh, scamming the shit out of black people. I never was, I, I kind of knew the shit was funny because I didn't see any, any of them saying anything or posting anything. Y'all was all those links, y'all was donating to them, bro. They spent that shit on their family in those houses, bro. Mm-hmm. Not a single thing got got donated to black families or nothing like that, bro. They got all that money and, yeah, making black people look fucking bad, bro. <laughs> Trusted. We're always being, you know, demonized. And then for there to be a legitimate possibility that the reason what, how all this started is because two black women got into an argument about their relationship with a black man. And instead of actually talking it like adults, it resulted in them, one of them <laughs> shooting at another one of them is crazy. Especially when anytime like those line of questions happen to her friend, Kelsey, immediately she's like, I plead the fifth. I, I heard gunshots. I just didn't see where they were coming from. I didn't see any of that, but I plead the Fifth though, this is that's all is so lame to me. All is so lame to me. It's 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 messed up, yo. I'm. Uh, it's it's just a weird thing, man. I'm gonna end it right here. That shit is weird. Her friend, her friend, I feel like is the is like the I want to say what they call it, what the key witness at this point, and she has immunity. So either either she doesn't want to tell on herself, or she doesn't want to tell on Megan, or Tori. But I don't, I don't get what, what, what her loyalty lie with Tori. So it's one of the two. To me, maybe I could be wrong, but those two things make the most sense to me. And at this point, if you got immunity, like you're not gonna be prosecuted for what you say, or or you're not gonna be prosecuted after this case is over. So just say it. Maybe she don't want to look like a bad person. I don't fucking know, bro. But this shit is dragging. I just want to see the end end results. I might not do another video on this unless. I see some credible, some crazy shit happen, but who fucking knows, bro? Get this shit together, though. This, this shit is kind of crazy. And it's getting, it's too, shit dragging, bro. It's dragging. It's about to go three, four years. Like, niggas is dead done with this, bro.